hello and welcome to another fabulous episode of Brig's Beverage Reviews. I'm Brig, and um, today I'm here in my bathroom. Why? Because I can. Because I... She... She can. Ooh, I she can. Um, no, actually, I'm gonna cut my hair while I while I drink today because my hair is just too long. Too, too long. Look at that. Look at it. Okay, okay. This is what we're working with. It's so long. I literally got because look at how beautiful it is. Like, I'm guessing that beautiful, beautiful lion, tiger, is going to work on a lot of people. Also, it's positive female, she can attitude. Also probably will get a lot of people. I will be drinking the rosé and I will be drinking the Salve Blanc. Two cans is probably four glasses of wine, I would say, um, which is kind of a lot. Things might get a little weird. Um, but I'll start with the Salve Blanc because it's the white and then I'll switch to the rosé. And um, yeah, I'm gonna readjust my camera angle because this is bad. Got my wine. Um, I'm not gonna be like doing anything drastic. I don't think to my hair. Hopefully, just cutting off like some. If I were going to get my hair cut, I would probably be getting like that much cut, much cut off because uh, it needs it. But since I'm doing it myself, I'd rather um, not be too dramatic. Although who knows? After some wine, maybe I'll feel. I feel like I can. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So this is the soft one. It's pretty good. I would say pretty standard for a soft one. For a canned soft one, excuse me, for like a cheaper soft one. If I got this from like a more expensive bottle, I would probably be a little disappointed. So I'm gonna drink a little more, come back and start cutting my hair. I'm about halfway done with just the soft block. What is my plan, you ask? Hmm. So, my years of life on the planet Earth, I have gotten my hair cut a few times, and I've also become a disciple of the curly girl method and now lots of things that I'm doing right now probably don't even count as the curly girl method because um you know kind of a stop trying in general because mm -hmm. of you know life but one thing I do know is from everything on the internet hair related is you should always section your hair and especially us gals with thicker hair we need to section it um when you have curly hair you should get your hair cut dry it's called getting a dry cut and then in theory what they do is take one curl and snip it and then you can take the next curl and snip it in the exact same spot. The problem with my hair is because of the fact that I don't have like any product in it really and I slept on it last night, um, it's like a weird mix of different types of curls and frizz and so honestly this probably isn't going to work very well and it's not ideal conditions. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Is anyone else concerned for this right now? Oh, this is gonna go so badly, I can already tell. Ew. I'm just putting a little conditioner in it to hopefully um, get rid of some of the frizz. And also, your hair always wants a little moisture. A little bit of moisture never hurt anybody's hair. So it's just gonna start here. Basically cutting it where the first curl bends. That was probably too big of a chunk. That was a good lesson. 
Um, also, the nice thing about curly hair is it kind of hides your mistakes. Oh my god, already I'm very satisfied. Like I said, I can only just go, I have a lot of length to go. And it looks like this is uneven, but it shouldn't be once I put my hair back. Unless my hair was uneven to begin with, which is also entirely possible. Oh my god. Wow, this is hella satisfying. first few tastes were a little disarming, um, but then as you drink it, it's pretty good. I poured it into a glass so I could see the color, especially for white wines. For me, color is very important because I don't really like oaked things. The more yellow it is, the oakier it is. This is quite clear, which is good. Sauve Blanc, in my opinion, should not be, uh, should not be oaky. It's better in the glass than in the can. Cans just add a little metallic tasters. It's a great, great way to drink wine in certain occasions, but if I can drink it in a glass, I probably will. Trying it in the can is very important because that's probably how you're going to be drinking it, right? It's for on-the-go type activities. Okay, I'm going to tie back my first layer um, so I don't actually cut it again. my trims are getting yeah they're getting shorter and I was almost expecting them to get longer as I cut which wouldn't really matter that much it would just make my hair slightly more layered and it's like a more recent cut and not some first cut ish I guess it's about the same still okay we're good I probably should have stopped did I cut all this no clearly didn't you can tell you can tell this was like 550-ish, 544, I want to say, at Safeway for one can. And while she is gorgeous, $6 almost for a can of wine. You can get a really good bottle of wine for under $10. You can get a screw top lid bottle for under $10 very easily, especially with white wine. Um, and then that is pretty much just as portable as a can. Granted, it's heavier, so if you're hiking, maybe that's not as ideal, but uh, $5 seems a little expensive, but if it's a local, nope, it's from New Zealand. So, well, I mean, support the country doing the best with the, uh, you know, the Vikings. I do want to side by side taste them a little bit. That's good. Oh, yummy. That's good. Okay. 
Okay, I need to finish the white though, so. My mouth is a little wild from the Sauve Blanc, but my first taste, like out of the can with this rosé, I was like, yo, that's really good. And actually, is it better in the can? That's what I've been asking for. It might actually be better in the can. Oh, that'd be great. We don't have, we don't have that yet. I, well, I haven't found it yet. I have more research to do, clearly. Now is when we get into the more complicated part because I don't know if this is normal, but my hair is way thicker on the top than on the bottom. The bottom is much thinner. at the lovely pink quality of this bad boy. Nice peachy, peachy rosé. So cute. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, a little berry -y, a little tangy. As it should be, rosé in a can should be drinkable. I would say this is, both of these are very drinkable. I think I like the rosé more. <music> section the frizz is honestly getting the best of me it's not separating into separate curl sections um which is very unfortunate because this is the front of my face so i think i'm just gonna trim them as best i can sip for good luck much shorter yes is that fairly insignificant compared to the length of my hair yes but does it feel so much better oh my god like can you see how that one is like long longer a little more moisture you tell me if you see something something bad I don't even care what it looks like because I'm not going anywhere and honestly I wear a bun most of the time so who even cares but like give myself some, some bangs. This one we're gonna cut there. Oh she's short. Look at my bang. I don't know if it's just because I already have another can, but I honestly think, like, I don't think it's better. I wouldn't call it better, but I would call it actually, like, I don't feel as affected by the, the can flavor. Okay, maybe let's do this. Am I supposed to cut off that? Probably not. It almost looks like it hasn't been cut yet, though, so I'm gonna cut it. Wolverine! Ah! Cut your hair, people! Cut your hair! 
カレーカレー I'm gonna stop cutting Thank you for watching my video. I appreciate you spending time with me. Please comment what I should drink next. If you think I should keep cutting my hair, let me know. Um, if you think I should do something else with my hair, you can try to tell me. I probably won't do it. Um, but if you want to touch my hair, feel free to tell me that as well. Like, weirdos are welcome. Hmm.